Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Today we are going to visit the famous Kinderdijk windmills which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And in order to get there, we first need to make our way to Rotterdam. And yeah, I'll show you guys how you can get to this place. And I'm going there together with my boyfriend. And then I also have my friend Henry, who is visiting us from Finland. Henry! <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel being in the Netherlands? Great. Great? It feels are you, great. Are you excited to see the windmills? A bit, yes. A bit. <laughs> that was a very enthusiastic a bit. <laughs> okay, but yeah, let's start heading towards Rotterdam. Well, sorry for the awful lightning, but we have now jumped on a train taking us from Leiden to Rotterdam. <laughs> we have now arrived to Rotterdam and we are gonna head towards the Erasmus Bridge and from there we're taking a water bus to the windmills. We're now gonna walk through Rotterdam a bit and I'll show you guys a bit what it looks like but if you're interested in seeing more about Rotterdam I've already made two separate videos about it so yeah I'll link them up here and down in the description box if you're interested. But yeah let's head towards the water bus. So on the map we are currently here by the Erasmus Bridge and we are going to take the water bus and head towards Kinderdijk. We are now waiting for the water bus here by the Erasmus Bridge and how you pay is that you use your OV chip card and just scan in and scan out as normally for a train or a bus. But if you are like my friend Henry <laughs> and you don't have an OV chip card, at least online it says that you can buy a ticket on board. So yeah, that's what we're gonna at least try to do. I have no idea how long, <laughs> when, the, when the water bus comes. It's in an hour or 10 minutes, but yeah, I'll let you guys know. So there are two different ways on how you can get to Kinderdijk with the ferry. The best and first option is to take ferry number 21. That one goes straight there, here from Rotterdam. We are a bit unlucky and it seems like there's no boat in a full hour. But there is also another option and that is that we take first ferry number 20 and we go to, what was the name of the place? Rinkerk. Rinkerk. I don't know. And then there we change to another boat. So it's a bit more of a hassle, but still possible. Maybe hopefully on the way back, we would be able to take just the one ferry. Okay, so as you might see, <laughs> we're not on a boat at the moment. Um, usually you can take boat number 20 and then switch to another boat to go to Kinderdijk. I'm sorry, it's really windy. But yeah, apparently today that second boat doesn't go. So we have to wait for boat number 21, which doesn't leave until almost an hour. So we came to a terrace nearby the water bus stop instead and we're gonna have a drink here and it's a very lovely place right by the water so but yeah if you go to Kinderdijk maybe play it safe and check the timetable for the water bus number 21 and just take that one because the other one doesn't seem to always work so yeah Finally, we 
have managed to get on the water bus. Now the trip should only be like around half an hour, so not too bad. And we'll get to enjoy some beautiful views on the way as well. So. Look, that's the terrace where we sat earlier, over there. Henry was able to get a ticket, so he won't be thrown off board. <laughs> Are you excited, Henry? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> And so we have arrived. The boat trip ended up taking about 40 minutes. Oh, yes. <gasps> <Bit of fish>. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> How cool is that? He just extended his two euros. Zero euro. One year. Zero euro. <laughs> yeah. But it does have windmills on it, so that's yeah. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Did you collect these? Mm. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> Kinderdijk is a village located in the province of South Holland and the home of 19 windmills. These windmills were built around the year 1740. It's one of the most famous sites to see in the Netherlands and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you want, you can pay for a ticket to Kinderdijk that costs 19 euros. And with that ticket, you get a map of the area. You can hop on the little boats that go around here. There are two different like windmill museums that you can visit with that ticket. And there's like an audio tour as well of the area. We decided actually not to do that this time. But yeah, if you don't get the ticket, you can also just walk around freely and see all the windmills. Well, never mind what I just said. We decided to pay for the ticket after all, because you know, we've come all the way here and now we get to visit the windmills here and jump on a boat and yeah, get the full experience. Might as well. But by the way, if you come here in the weekday, it's a bit cheaper than it's only 16 euros, so.
a small break and we bought some Dutch farmers crisps and then we got a cookie that Henry is gonna try the gewulde koek <laughs> so yeah having a little snack break cooked from potatoes grown at our farm next to the clogs and tulips you've just discovered Holland's best kept secret Chips. Is it good? Good, it's good. Yeah. yeah. It's, good. it's different, I guess. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to describe it because no, yeah. like, I, I have tried something r really similar. We do have this cake in Finland with almonds and sugar and with butter. Mm. Don't know the name of the pie, but uh, yeah, I think I know what you mean. Moska pirakka. Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. remind yeah. of that a bit. It's time to check out the second windmill that is a part of yeah when you buy the ticket. It's a bit of a smaller one. I hope you guys can hear me because it is very windy. Even though this is like a tourist spot and there is yeah a bit of people here but it's not too touristic and it's actually surprisingly peaceful and quiet and calm it's very nice so we really want to take the little boat that's here back to the start basically but we just missed one and the next one goes in like 35 minutes but you know we paid the 19 euros so we want to get all out of our money so we're yeah <laughs> gonna wait for the boat if we would walk back we would be back by the time the boat would be here but oh well we found a really nice spot where to sit down and relax for a while and wait for the boat we're not in a rush today or anything so why not let's get our money's worth we are waiting here with a very nice windmill and water view We're gonna check out the souvenir shop. You want some Kinder Dyke socks? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Kinder Dyke beer. It's there. Look at the windmill chocolates oh. and clog chocolates. Oh. That's a good souvenir. And what is the perfect way to end a visit to Kinderdijk? By having a strobe waffle. And this one's warm and... Oh, let's try it. We have stumbled upon yet another souvenir shop.
are now back in Rotterdam and it is time for us to take the train back home to Leiden. So I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you also wanna see future videos from me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next adventure. Bye bye.